Hello, it's Ryan from 2MinuteTennis.net, and in this video, I'm going to show you what you can copy from the Fernando Verdasco Topspin Forehand to help improve your forehand so you can gain massive control. Now, the first thing I want to show you, and this is not super common, believe it or not, in amateur tennis, is how much body rotation he gets leading up to contact. So right now you can see Fernando's chest is facing off to the right of the camera. But then I want you to watch where it's facing when he's hitting the ball. Now his body is facing his target. So go out and film yourself and make sure that your body is rotating. You'll notice in order to do this, he's actually raising his non-hitting hand. This is so important. Watch his non-hitting hand rise as his body rotates. Most amateur players I see who cannot ro rotate their body into the shot, they drop this non-hitting hand, then it actually swings backward, they end up creating a counterweight, their body can't twist, and their hips can't turn. So you got to lift this non-hitting hand, and you can see that right here. Watch his non-hitting hand rise. His non-hitting hand goes up in order to allow his hips to turn. So first, got to make sure you're rotating your body in order to swing your arm through. The second thing I want you to notice is I want you to notice his contact zone. A contact zone is when you can hit the ball and the ball will go in. So Fernando could hit the ball now, now, which he obviously is at contact. He could hit now, 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 now. He has this super long hitting zone where his strings are facing into the court. You know, he could hit the ball even now. So he has this really long hitting zone where he could hit the ball anywhere here and the ball is going to go in if you were to strike the ball there so i watch a lot of amateurs they roll the ball or we roll their racket over the ball and they point their strings in so many different places using the wrist you don't want to be actively using the wrist as you hit the ball so really try to feel like your strings are facing your target for a really long time now his strings you can notice are slightly closed the reason he can get away with this with his strings ever so close is one is racket swinging low to high as he's doing this. So his racket's going up as he's doing this, but also he's swinging incredibly fast. So there's enough friction against the ball and strings to help pull that ball up over the net. That's how he's going to be able to have his racket slightly closed as he's doing this. The next thing I want to show you is look at this extension. This is what I call feel like you're handing your racket to your opponent. So swing up and out towards your target. I absolutely love this view. Look how far out in front his racket is. It's amazing the distance his racket is tracking out toward the target. This is going to help you be more consistent. When you get the racket to track out towards your target, it will help you then get your strings to face your target more often and you just help to guide the ball where you want it to go. And last, look how high his finish is. He's finishing almost like he's listening to his watch. So he's got his elbow pointing at his target. His, his um, armpit is exposed to his opponent. Again, these are all things that are going to help you swing within the lines of the court and help you be consistent and guide the racket towards your target. So make sure that you are rotating your body from sideways to forward to pull the racket into contact rather than just swinging your arm. Work on keeping your strings facing your target as you swing low to high. That just means you're going to be more consistent even if you mistime the shot. Reach out towards your target like you're handing your racket to your opponent and finish high like you're listening to your watch in your ear. If you follow these simple tips from Verdasco, there is no doubt you're going to gain confidence, win more matches, and play much better tennis. This is Ryan Reedy from 2MinuteTennis.net. You got this.